to get here because they're late. As usual. As usual. And we're going to have coffee and breakfast with them. We haven't seen Daniel in a really long time because he moved to Nashville and now he's like some like famous musician and he's making a couple hours for us. And then we're going to see the 1975 tonight. It's going to be fun. been so close before It's one way or the other I hate oatmeal I'm up. Okay, give me a freaking break <laughs> Let me tell you what kind of oatmeal I like And it's the Quaker Oats oatmeal Peaches and cream <laughs> I take go. about uh, okay. this much brown sugar. <laughs> no, this is milk. not where I expected this to go, honestly. <laughs> Me so I was expecting solidarity. Like, you're right, this is crap. I could have left right after the first, the first song. Literally. I'm it was excited right about it. I think it'll be a really good show. Yeah. It's like taking everything in me right now not to follow that tour bus and see if it's the 1970s. <laughs> Sarah is lucky that she has people like Daniel to talk about music and concerts with because yeah. One, it takes a whole lot to get me excited, but two, I mean, I, I'm really excited to see the 1975, but not. You don't care about set lists and, and openings and boys and all the things that come along with it. Yeah. We just drove by the Brady Theater, which is where the concert is tonight. And there, all those people you just saw are camping out. They've been there since, well, we got down here downtown at 9 a.m. So they've been here since before 9 a.m. They're all camping out for the show tonight. And we just drove by and there are three tour buses, which means all three bands are there, which means the 1975 is there. And it took everything in me not to pull over and fangirl and wait outside the tour buses. because there's zero line am I trying this donut. by Hertz uh, whenever there wasn't any line because yeah. now we know it's never worth a line. <laughs> and now there's Good, a line. but not worth a line. Yes. No donut I've had is worth a line. Yeah, yeah that's true. We're walking to 
1975 concert, getting in line. Doors opened at 7 and the show starts at 8. And it is 7.30. I checked my wrist like I have a watch. <laughs> anti-compassion that's just spreading across the world. I mean, the world is always being fucked. Right? But it's all right. It's all right for us, because every night we create this little liberal utopia of a cross-section event. And then, um, it may not be representative of reality, but it doesn't really matter, because it's our reality, therefore it's your reality. So if we go and... <laughs> If we don't patronise people that we disagree with, then we're right. We're all right about everything. So this song goes out to anybody who's ever been or felt, I don't know, ostracised or disenfranchised or oppressed, because that's not acceptable. It's fundamentally unacceptable in the modern world. <laughs> I don't want to sound like an uninformed student, but this song is for you.
just got home from the 1975. They could have played for two more hours and I would have been happy. Last time we saw them was at the BOK Center, which is a way bigger venue. Um, I think it seats like 20,000, something like that. And their stage setup was, you know, it's, it's big, but it's not like at the Brady, they filled the entire stage. The room was completely packed out. The sound was so it's much better. Cool. Also last time when we saw them, George, the drummer, had broken his shoulder the night before. So there was a fill-in drummer. This time George was the drummer. They got to play She's American, which is incredible. It was just so good. Sarah kind of lost her mind a little bit. I did, I love concerts. <laughs> also, Sarah doesn't dance in I don't. literally any other context. Except so. for concerts. But I extra dance at the 1975. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Night.